jedan, dva, tri. Idemo napred. Artlist.io Bravo, to ima je Rupo Dalian i dobro došli u moj novi uh, podcast. Music Licensing Reimagined Music licensing reimagined. Bravo, moj. Bravo, moj. Ima je Rumba Daliani. Dobrodošli nazad na moj YouTube kanal. Dobrodošli nazad na moj podcast emisija koji se zove Posao jezike i istorija. A ovo je moj gest Peter Kristen Ruzević. Tako si. Evo, odlično sam. Hvala ti prijatelju. Baš sam odlično. And I'm very glad that the hurricane named Ian has just crossed, uh, oh, you know, passed across your state of Florida, and you don't have any troubles with it anymore. Mm-hmm. I've just got an uh, an email from the Morning Brew, the information <laughs> that I that I receive, you know, uh, weekly. So it says that uh, the hurricane Ian has just. Passed across the state of Florida. Urugan je bio veoma jače. It was very strong. Uragan, yeah. The hurricane was a very strong one. That's not. Yeah, and I was, I was, you remember, I was witnessing it in the real time yesterday because you were showing me the event. And it pulled out a tree trunk Mm -hmm. out of the soil. So it, it fell off. Uh, onto you... the ground in your garden. Uh, so yesterday we were, we were having issues to accomplish the, the, the task of a good show, but right now we're coming back uh, for, for you. So it has been so long. Velma Dugo. Yeah, because I was abroad. I was in Georgia, not the, not the U.S., but the former USSR and Tbilisi. Sovietsky Savez. Of course. Sovietsky. And yeah. And I've tried to do a an interview with the former Georgian president Mikhail Saakashvili, hmm. who I'm in contact with, but I, I didn't do that because they didn't allow us to enter the the cell where he is kept in, in detention and in, in captivity and in, incarcerated. Okay, so I, I've done several other things that I was supposed to do. So after my Georgian experience, I'm uh I'm ready to write a travelogue about my Georgian experiences. Uh, and I'm uh, just announcing it right now as a hint, as an announcement. Okay, because Georgia is an excellent country to make a travelogue or an indie film about. Hmm. Yeah, that, that's one of my favorite countries as well as now. Okay, so recently you... Okay, currently, instead, you're reading the book uh, that has been written by one of the greatest Serbian writers. Yeah. Imam njegova knjiga roman na srpskom. Yeah. That's great. Pa, on je rođen u Tuzli, kao što znaš. Da znam. 1910. i umre u Beogradu 1982. On je bio musliman, srbin. Da znam. Iz Bosne. On je, ovaj, pričali smo o tome juče, ali sad ćemo to ponoviti kratko zbog naših gledalaca. 
postoji himna Srba muslimana koji je napisao Osman Đikić. Mm. Bio sam na njegovom grobu u Mostaru. Ovo je himna Srba muslimana. A to je, on je napisao liriks, odnosno pesmu, a kompoziciju muzičku je napisao Miloje Milojević ili Kornelije Stanković. Ne mogu se sjetiti sam. Mislim da je Miloje Milojević. Tako da postoji himna Srba muslimana. E, takav Srbi musliman je bio i Mehmed Meša Selimović. Umro je, umro je posle moždanog udara. He had, he's had a brain aneurysm, so he died in his apartment in Belgrade. Uh, this is the 40th year after his, he passed away. Ovo je 40-ta godina od njegove smrti. 40 godina. Diskarnacije, da. E, i sad on je napisao, evo, kao što znamo, tvrđava, The Fortress on the Dervish Smrt, The Dervish and the Death. Dervish and the Death. Pa onda, ovaj... Imam Dervis Smrt također. Yes, bravo. Onda ima roman, kraći roman, Ostrovo, The Island. Ostrovo, a here, ovde. Yeah, exactly. Ostrovo, također. Da, pa onda ima ovaj Ostrovo, Djevojka crvene kose. A red-haired maiden. Imam Djevojka crvene kose. Da, i e sad ima jedna stvar, ovo smo sve pričali juče, ali ponavljamo za naš auditorijem. Postoji jedan pamflet koji je Meša napisao, to nije literarni tekst, ali to je pamflet ili neka vrsta studije ili teze eseja koja se zove Za i protiv Buka. Pro et contra regarding Buk Karadžić. Ti učiš moderni srpski jezik i ti znaš u stvari ko je reformisao taj srpski jezik ovaj koji ti učiš, a ja govorim. Ti znaš da sam zvao Vuk Stefanović Karadžić, znaš da je rođen, znaš da je bio austrijski džak i špijun, by the way, što uopšte nije tako loša stvar. Govorio je nemački jezik izuzetno, prvo je preko 50 godina u Beču i tamo je i umro. Tamo je bio i prvenstveno sahranjen, pa je posle Ostati su mu doneti ovde u Sabornu crkvu u Beogradu. Tamo počivaju pored Dositeja Obradovića. E, i njegova žena je bila bečlika, zvala se Ana Kraus. A, Miša Slimović imao žene? Jeste, imao je ženu Miša Slimović, Darinku, imao je, ja mislim, dve žene, ali je ovaj, Darku, Darku, pardon. Darki je posvećen roman Derviš i smrt, molim? Kako se jeno ime? What was her name? Darka. Daka. Njoj je, kad otvoriš roman Derviš i smrt, piše ovako, ako bih mogao da napiše najljepšu knjigu o ljubavi, osvetio bih je svojoj voljenoj ženi Darki. To je posveta na romanu Derviš i smrt. E sad, i u toj knjizi za i protiv Vuka Meša u stvari obrađuje temu da li je reforma jezička koju je sprogao Vuk Karadžić korisna ili je štetna za srpski jezik. Neki smatrili da je unakazio srpski jezik, kaže Tesla Ivanu Meštroviću, hrvatsko masonu i vajaru, kaže u jednom razgovoru u New York Sede, u kafani za stolom, kaže jao, nemojte kaže pominjati Vuka, on je uveo jezik čobana i seljaka u svakodnevni govor, kaže on je upropastio jezik. I mnogi smatri upravo to da je Vuk nakazio ovaj jezik na kome sad govorimo, a recimo Lomonosov, Mihajl, to nije uradio s ruskim jezikom. Ja kao govornik ruskog jezika i kao ruski, da kažem, prijatelj, znam da ruski jezik nije toliko nakažen od strane Lomonosova. Bila su još tri glasa. Ti znaš da srpski jezik je fonetski. Serbian language is a phonetic language. One syllable is affected by a single grapheme, right? Jedan glas, jedno slovo. Pa onda ima ono pravilo piši kao što govoriš, a čitaj kao što je napisano. To nije Vuko i Miskrat. To je uzeo od Johana Kristijana Adelunga. To je Adelungovo takozvano pravilo. I Adelung Schegel. E. Ti govoriš nemački? Ja govorim nemački tečno. Sprache dojč, pas mi den perfekcijon, sprache dojč pliseš. Zakon mi je, ich habe das in die šule gelernt. 
und bis heute, ich habe fast keinen Wort vergessen. <lacht> okay, Atiutis, Nemaš, Atiutis ist der Amazon. Uredo. Ich sage mal, dass 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 ich sage mal, I ovaj, ja imam prijatelje koji su masoni, ovaj, braću, i ovaj, hoću da kažem da svaki jezik se menja. Jezik je živo biće. A language is a living being. Literally. Yeah. Tako da, ovaj, oni uradi jednu od mogućih izmena sa slovencem Jernijom Kopitarem, pa je bio takozvani ovaj, pamflet koji je bio poznat pod nazivom Salo debeloga jera. To je napisao Sava Mrkalj. Ovaj, Salo debeloga jera, jer bilo je slovo jer. Ti znaš kako je izgleda staroslovenska azbuka? You've seen the old church slavonic alphabet. Da, vidim. Ima tamo ovaj azbuk i vjedi glagolj, dobro je, živijete zjelo i... Uh, buk, buk, uh, I tako dalje. Buk Karadžić je... Yes. Strava, 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 uh, pismo, pismo na srpskom. Da, hoće kažem, samo ima, ovaj, postojalo, je, postojalo je nekoliko ovaj, desetina slova, ovaj, az, buki, vjedi, glago, dobro jezi, vidite, zijelo, i kako ljudi, ljudi misliš u našom pokoriti slovo, tvrdo, u, u per, her, oti, čar, šta, 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 jer, jer, ja, te, jus, o, ja, 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 to jer je bilo u stvari preteča slova je. Jer. Jer i slovo je. Pas, jer. Znaš kako se piše slovo je, ovako. Kao kišobran s tačkom gore. Eh. Like an umbrella with a, with a single dot upon its head. Eh. Hoću joj kažem, ovaj srpski jezik je modifikovan, čisto kad ga već učiš da znaš, i Vuk Karadžić odigra u tome glavnu, da kažem, ovaj posredničku špionsku ulogu. Ja Vuka cenim iz nekih drugih razloga jer je govorio oko 12 jezika. Vuk spoke around 12 languages. Vuk. Tako da ga ja cenim između kojih je bio i ivrit, odnosno hebrejski. To nije hebrejski, nego ivrit, je tako? I tako dalje. Starogrčki, nemački, latinski i tako dalje. I bio je uglavnom sam mouk. He was a, an autodidact. He was self-taught. I to je to. Je. Tako da je Meša uh, napisao taj pamflet za i protiv Vuka i ovaj, tu je izneo informacije koje govore u prilog oba, obe teze i u korist i protiv Vuka. Ok, let's stick to the, to the, to the novel that you are currently, currently reading, The Fortress. Ti znaš da se tu nalazi ovaj glavni karakter koji se zove glavni junak, glavni lik koji se zove Ahmed Šabo. Da znam, jedan, jedan od likovi u ov, ovaj uh, roman. He's one of the tako characters je. this uh, book. Yeah. Jedan od likova, tako je. I on, on se vrati u stvari iz rata. Rato je na ruskoj strani protiv Turaka u Hotinu ili Hoćinu. Iz? U Besarabiji. Da iz, da, iz Rusija se vra, vraće u Bosnu u no, 1621 godina. Tako je. Da. I on je u stvari u stanju duboke depresije. He is in a state of a severe de- clinical depression. But he handles with it somehow. Ali se nekako nosi s tim. Uh, nalazi se na reci stalno i meditira, pokušava da napravi zen meditaciji, da gleda u reku i to ga podsjeća na protok života, ali ne i na protok vremena, jer vreme je konstantna nula, kao što znam. Vreme se ne kreće, jer ne može da se kreće ono što je beskonačno, ne može da ima motility. A žena mu se, ima ženu pijanu, žena mu je trudna, Duda. Sa prvim detetom. A dve, dve, dve puta, tačno. Yes. I ovaj, oni žive jednom malom stanu. They dwell in a, in a tiny condo on the second story, the second floor, which is full of cockroaches, ah, which are arriving during the night. 
because they are the night animals. Puno je žohara, puno je, puno je buba švaba, tarakana. I ovaj, međutim, oni žive taj svoj mali život u idiličnom raspoloženju. Zašto? Zato što se vole. Kad se muškarac i žena vole, njima ništa ne smeta environment da bi se volili. Je tako? I na neki čudan način, Ahmed Šabo je i zadovoljan. Zato što će postati roditelj, siromašni su mnogo, they, they live in the, in the other at most poverty, but it doesn't even matter because they love each other. And that's the only thing that matters. I on se prijavljuje, pošto je naravno musliman, on je učio arabski jezik u medresi. A on pr- pr- prodovao je arabski. M- M- Ahmed Upaha uh, predaje arabski studentima u Sarajevu. Tako je. Da. Kako se zvao taj Mahmud? A, a, mah, Ahmed Šabah. Ne, to znam, nego ovaj čovjek kome on predaje, zove se Mahmud, ba, kako Bazlulj ili kako se podsjeti me? Da. Ok. I on predaje u stvari Da, želi da predaje ovaj arabski jezik, pa onda ima jedan mali dućan, ima jednog prijatelja koji radi u dućanu. He has a friend who works in a grocery store nearby. Right? Da, aj sećam se, sećam se to. Jeste. Kao prodavnica zdrave hrane, da kažem, ovaj pa da bosanci nisu baš tad imali zdravu hranu. Mm. Nema ni sad neku veliku jel, ali pošto ja i ti volimo ne zdravu hranu, onda je sve u redu s nama. I ovaj, eto, ti si danas jeo srpske čevape, je tako? <laughs> ja, to je te moj. Iste, te iste čevape su jeli Ahmed da. Šabu i njegovi kompanjoni iz Bosne. E, samo ti dam jedan aporizam. This is an aphorism for today. Aphorism glasi. Ko nije probao srpske čevape, on ne zna šta je iranska kuhinja. The one who hasn't tried out the Serbian kebabs does not know what's a Persian cuisine. Ah. Zato što su čevapi persijsko jelo. Nemo nikakve veze sa srbima, nego su turci doneli to na takozvani Balkan preko ovaj, preko, odnosno i tu donali su iransko jelo, persijsko jelo i iranske kuhnje. Tako da je kebab ustaji čevab, jel, to je iransko jelo, ali ok. I Ahmed Šabo u stvari ovaj, uh, ima jedno, jedan čudan osjećaj pomirenosti. He kind of reconciled with the, with the, with the current situation. He's a passive guy. Trying to leave he, all the events behind him, behind the past, yeah, like, trying to forget he about can, uh, he is He is contemplating and rethinking the past and the events that occurred. Sometimes they were shocking, like the rape scene uh, of that woman that he was witnessing, right? In that stable. And uh, there, there are thousands of the of, of severely disemboweled people, you know, decapitated, beheaded, you know, hanged, impaled, murdered, and the mutual warfare, the clash between the Turks and the Russians, right? Da. And so it's a lot of... Uh, Other yeah, and that's, therefore, it's a lot of this, you know, the, the stressful things and a lot of trauma behind, behind his back. And even he has developed a PTSD hmm. and it, it expressed in a modern psychological uh, terms, right? Uh, but somehow he has reconciled with the past and with the present and he is trying to do the best he can for the newborn offspring, for his beloved wife and for his own future. He on je čovjek oko 40 godina, kao ja, jel? Obično su mešeni u naci tako na prekretnici srednje doba, oko 40 godina. He's around 40, right? Da, je, da, upravo tako. A da. I ovaj, on pokušava u stvari da ovaj, radi i da zaradi. He tries to work. And he also manages to, to find earn. people like different jobs. He manages to find like people different jobs so they can work and make money and stuff. So Yeah, various kind of crafts. The yeah. craftsman. Mm-hmm. Craftsman, basically, yeah. He encounters the, encounters the craftsman around as a uh, hood. U, u knizi se dešavaju mnoge 
tragije na primjer Tuga i Zemlju Utrus ubili su mnogo ljudi. A lot of people were killed and there was a lot of tragedies going on. Tako je. Pa jedan, jedan momak je, onaj koji je učestvovao ovaj, u silovanju one žene, on se zaklao posle toga. He has slaughtered himself by a... Uh, Na, nož. nož. Yeah, by a... Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, a knife. Mnogo, knife. Mnogo, mnogo ljudi je bio ubijeni. A lot of people were killed. So. Yeah, and a lot of people have committed suicides after after the warfare, after the clash was over. Da, i dešava se radnja u proleće. The plot occurs at spring. And you know that the spring is the most dangerous, the most the most dangerous season for the for the suicidal depressed people hmm. because they mostly commit suicides at spring. Uh Dakle, a proleće je veoma je, je bio veoma teško vrem, vreme sa sa za depresivne da. For the depressed people, yeah. For the depressed individuals, yeah, definitely yes. E. I dobro, e sada ovaj on šta je ostali poenta? O čemu se radi u romanu Prđeva? He has a one as it abound within the the the, the fortress now. He has a brother. Kako mu se zove brat? Ja se sećaš? Uh, čekaj, čekaj malo, čekaj. Uh, ne sećam se. To, ne sećam toga. Ok. Sećaš se ja posto. Njegov brat, on ima brata Sećaš? koji se nalazi. Kako? Ti sećaš je njegov uh, brata ime ili... I, I, I weakly remember his brother's name, but I will, I will, I will get it sooner ah. later. And uh, on ima brata koji je zarobljen, he is imprisoned and incarcerated and kept in detention, in captivity in a local fortress by the local social security members, the staff members, right? Ah. So he's desperately kind of trying to reach out his brother and to help him to get out from the from the dungeon, right? Ah. So he, because he's, he's, he's been enslaved and uh, entrapped and uh, arrested <laughs> and being kept there. So he doesn't know that his brother is already murdered. Uh, has been hanged, right? Uh, Isn't it? Mm-hmm. He's not aware that his brother is already hanged. He's hanged. dead. Like by the neck. But, yeah, yeah in spite of obesion, obesion. But in obesion. spite of the fact that he is already dead, he is desperately trying and trying over and over again to help him regain his freedom, right? Yeah. That she the essence of the plot of the the fortress novel is that the walls of the government Ooh. of the of the spatial security and the staff members are impenetrable I'm and that is very is very hard and difficult for the single average individuals to to break them, to break through them, and to reach out their beloved ones mm. if they are nobodies, you know, if they are just random people. And um, that's o, a privilege in class. No, ludi, obično ludi. Yeah, obično, obično ludi i obični ljudi. Da. Upravo tako. A mogu ponekad da budu i obično ludi. Ovaj, tako da je to poenta. So it's it's about privilege and class. It's about being participating in something bigger than oneself. It's about seizing and gaining the political power in order to do anything. El taco. Politike snage. A da. Ali u stvari mi iz svetske vlade danas šta radimo? Mi u stvari... Ukidamo državu, lagano ali sigurno, to se polako ali sigurno sprovodi. 
belo bratstvo to radi iz senke i u stvari tehnologije na takvom nivou da država više nije potrebna. The state is not necessary anymore. Bilo koja. I ta teritorija Srbije je u stvari eksperiment ruskih teozofa za stvaranje društva bez države. A society without a state. That's what the territory of Serbia is. E, ona nema, ona ima uslovnu nezavisnost, nema. Da kažem, državna, zbog čega? Zbog Sanđaka dela Turske na svojoj teritoriji, kao što je Berlinskim kongresom 1876. dogovoren. I taj pravni ugovor postoji i danas. Tako da, svetska vlada, takozvana, postoje dve svetske vlade, ali ova koja se oslanja ne na novac, nego na spiritualnost i čiji je glavni poluga Tesla, Ona u stvari vlada na taj način što lagano i sigurno ukidamo državu. E, i mi smo, da kažem, van svake države kao koncept, dakle, meta državni. E, vidim, i ti si specializirao ovo kao i ja. You specialize this, this pencil swinging. I, I want to, to, to patent this. And the American Patent Bureau. Patentiram to, pošto to niko drugi ne radi. To misliš? To mislim što da ne. E, vidiš u stvari i to je to. Dakle, to bi bila poenta, that's the point, which is very poignant of the portraits novel. Krijepast. Da tako, paruski skazan je ta krijepast. Krijapa. Krijapa se to. Da. Fortress. Drđava. A, da, naravno. Drđava je veoma zanimljivo knjiga. Drđava je veoma zanimljiva knjiga. Neki knjižani kritičari, certain literary critics, matraju da je takozvana mrtva trka između Perviš i smrt i Drđave. Vlade Tajerotić pokojni, pošto je bio i književni kritičar, on je smatrao da je ipak malo dublji bolji roman, Terviši srt, jer su njegove teme univerzalnije. Some thinkers and literary critics think, and their opinion is that the derbish and the death are a little bit more profound than the fortress, because it's a medical a circle is wider and more universal than in the fortress. Okay, sad idemo na derviš i smrt, može li? Šta je tvoj pitanje? Now we go to the second novel, the derviš and the death. Ajde, ajde da pričamo derviš i smrt. Da, e, šta je derviš? Derviš je u stvari red sufijskog meblana, meblevijskog ordera, odnosno reda koju je spostavio Želaludin Rumi, jedan od osnivača, i imao je svog prijatelja koji je bio, da kažem, njegov platonski ljubavnik. He was his platonic lover. I oni su u stvari, ali ne fizički, nije to toliko bilo homoseksualno, koliko je platonska bila ljubav i bila je neka vrsta poetske uzajemne zajednice. I ovaj... I... Željaljudin Rumi je imao u stvari dugo, da kažem, prijateljstvo s tim prijateljem. Jednog dana on je poginuo na jedan glup način, nešto je palo na njega i pogled završio inkarnaciju na glup način. I u stvari, budući osnivač sufizma i derviškog reda je upao u težak oblik depresije. Jer me vidiš? Vidiš. Šta vidiš? Vidiš me. A, the meeting. Zastanak je nije gotovo s još. Ne, ne. I ovaj, jednog dana, pošto je bio u dubokoj depresiji, ovaj, on je počeo da igra, da izvodi ples. Ti znaš kako izgleda derviški ples. Have you ever seen a dervish circular dancing? Oni plešu, tako? 
a ne, ne vidi. Ima devet, devet da više, ponekad može biti i manje više, koji su pod, glav, pod nazorom šejha glavnog i oni plešu, da kažem, ovaj, i ko, da kažem, doživljavaju religijsku ekstazu susred sa kosmosom i sa selfom svojim u tom ovaj, plesu derviškom i u suštini to je duboko religiozno. Da kažem. Ja sam gledao recimo derviše na Kosovu ili ovaj, u, u, ovome, u Buhari u Uzbekistanu, oni stvarno buše, derviši buše obraze by a needle. Hmm. Or by a needle. So they, they penetrate through their cheeks by a, a nail or a needle and they don't feel any pain and there ain't no blood that is sprinkling around. Ne, so ne, that's a ne, very ne, profound. Ne, yeah, it's a very... Huh? Nekar, no blood. Ne. No, it's a, it's a very profound, mystical experience, therefore. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Derviš uh, Kirez je razvijen, kao što znaš, na Balkanu, takozvanom. To je bila Helmer i Hemis, ranije prošlosti, pa je Napoleon nametnuo u 19. veku naziv Balkan. Balkan to je stara planina između Bugarske i Srbije koje nema veze ni sa čim, to je samo planina, pa je poluostrovo dobili ima potrebe. Znači na Kavkazu, Pakistanu, Iranu, Indiji, Afganistanu i Tadžikistanu. Ima i na Afričkom rogu, u Severnoj Africi, Turskoj i tako da. Ja, ja sam se svetao na Kosovu i u Uzbekistanu s Tervišima. Inače, pokojni, pokojni ovaj, Spasoj Vlajić je bio Derviš između ostalog. Njega je onaj Ali Dede s Kosova, Ali Dede inicirao u Derviški order. E sada, ovaj, dakle, to su derviši. Uh, oni žive u celibatu, uglavnom. They live in, in celibacy in most cases and they are very authentic. Uh, ja ću pozvati jednog svog prijatelja koji je stručnjak za, su, za, za sufizam i za islam uopšte, pa će on gostovati kod nas. Ja se slažem s tim? I get a friend of mine who's who's a specialist for for the Sufi mysticism and for Islam in general, and mm. who's been working in in Baku, Azerbaijan, in Turkey, and in in Vatican. On the radi on the radi u Azerbaijan. He worked and he worked, but he doesn't do that anymore because he is retired now. He's in pension. But he's a great, great connoisseur and a great specialist for Islam. Do, do you agree with the, to invite him into the show? Da, da. I asked him kindly. He said, yeah, yeah, no problem. Call me freely. Correct. Right. Spreman. When will he be? Uh, very soon he'll be ready. Ah. To. Yeah. He said um, oh. that we'll be, well, I said, I kindly invited him, and I said that I as now I have announced him that we were speaking about the Islamic and Sufi mysticism and the mm. esoteric practices. Tako da ovaj okay, postoje Mahdisti, takozvani Mahdists u u islamu, to je Muhammad Ahmed al Mahdi. To je to je oni pivač pa da to gordera. Ovaj, i, i ovaj, tako dalje. Svako ko se, ko se pridruži će njegovom orderu može se zvati Anhar, ovaj, koji je jedan od prorokovih naj, ovaj, ranijih ovih follower, odnosno ovih sljedenika. I tako dalje, i tako dalje. E, postoji mnogo knjiga koje se bave ovaj, termi, ter, tematikom Derviša i u stvari najpoznatija za mene do sada Pored Francesa Kazana je primešina knjiga Derviš i smrt. Ima je ovaj uh, Majdedin Ali Baker ne Matolahi i je, on je pisao isto to o tome. E, ti dobro, znaš da. arapski jezik. Ti znaš arapski? Ja arapski jezik učim, već godinama učim, ovaj, znam da čitam harfove. Al harf to je kaligrafsko pismo. Kako, to se nije kaže, kako se kaže stravo na arapskom? Pa, dobro, ja, ovaj, ja još nisam govornik arapskog jezika, ja volim da, da uđem u ovaj dublje u jezik da bi ovaj govorio. Obično se kaže, obično se kaže, asalamu alaikum. Kajfa haluk, alhamdulillah, šuhran. 
مرحبا 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 Moja čerka te pita zašto se zoveš Ruben, a evo mogu ja da odgovorim. Ruben je poznato jermensko ime. Je tako? Da, da moje ime right. je jermenski. Ruben je jerven, jermensko ime. A što znači na engle, kako postoji what, what, what does it mean in English if there is any meaning? It doesn't mean nothing, right? Uh, mislim, da. Uh, ne znam šta, šta okay. znači. Ok, but that... What what is certain that is that we can call you Ruby because uh, you're like a diamond. Ah, uh, you're precious. <laughs> okay, now she. Okay, just hold on. Where the show? Who shows? Polako, uh, the main <laughs> character in the Dervish and the Death is named uh, Ahmed Nuruddin, right? The, the character in the. Ime glavnog lika u Dervish is first roman. On isto ima 40 godina, većina mešanih junaka je na prelomu, na, na krizi srednjih godina, koju ja, by the way, uopće ne osjećam. Ove, ja sam prošao krizu srednjih godina za 26 godina, pa ne osjećam. I ovaj, ok, yeah, there's my daughter. Vidi, vidi, vidite, sve pan. Ok, I, I, I told her that you and the whole the entire planet and the extraterrestrial civilizations are watching her right now because they're 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 catching the contact yes now you yeah she's my my baby uh. okay. all right that tragic figure koja se bori protiv zla u sebi ali zbog interakcije s okolinom mora da prođe kroz taj deo, to se zove u individualacijnoj psihologiji, ovaj, osvešćivanje senke. Mora da prođe ono, kroz ono što Jung zove susred sa senkom. The encounter with your own shadow. What, what is a shadow? What's the definition of it? It's an inner part of the self which is dark and is is full of the, the the obscure and dark contents that never drive hold on they call e of a uh e to an ss no to a libido to so concept the demons key taco that i get people in taco that i spoke interactions of polino a several of other moments Ahmed Durudin je prinuđen da se u 40. godini finally susretne sa svojom senkom. To meet his own shadow which dwells and thrives within its, his deepest and most profound interior. Of the personality. No, it's not. One more. One more. Ne, ne sada. Ne sada. A jel ako Mark Oh, looks like the video is going to end very soon. Okay. Okay. Shall we continue tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I guess. All right. Yeah. All right, so we're going to continue tomorrow. Uh, talk about the books or... Uh... Exactly. We're going to keep on describing the, you know, Mesh's novels. Mm -hmm. And when we... When we're done with it, we're gonna we're gonna turn to another great Serbian writer and a diplomat from Bosnia whose name is Ivo or Ivo Andrić, the oh, Nobel Prize okay. winner for literature in 1961. Mm -hmm. 1961. Yeah, well, first, we have to finish with but, Masha. Prvo moramo da završimo s Mešom. Prvo moramo da da umes umes.